Just tell us where she is. We don't want any trouble. But you're bloody getting some if you don't fess up. Lads, for the love of all that is holy, I've never clapped eyes on your poor sister. Drop the act, hag. You was the last to see me, Rena. Just let her go. Please. Thank goodness you're here, sweetie. I, I don't know what's come over these boys. Auntie Ethel's face creases with false concern. You realize she's lying about seeing this girl, Mayrina. Stop this! We... we won't ask again! Careful! Don't trust a word out of her mouth. Our sister went to the hag, and we ain't seen her since. Hand over heart, I don't know their sister. I will gladly help you. Enough! Where is she? Bollocks! You were supposed to rush to my defense, love. Fat lot of good you are. Some advice? You ever darken my door, you'd best have that head bowed and an apology. Bye bye now. Bloody hells. She just disappeared. Ain't seen nothing like that before. She could shoot fireworks out of her backside for all I care. The hag has Rena. It's our sister, Marina. She's... well... She was in a bad way after her husband died. Started saying weird things, like... Next thing, she's gone looking for the hag. Of all the... And we haven't seen her since. None of this matters, all right? We need to get her back, and fast! I don't remember, bloody ass. Hold on, Joel. Let him talk. Oh. Are you joking? I ain't got a clue who you are. But, Joel. Not. I don't want a crumb left on that plate, girl. Auntie Ethel, please. One more bite, and this pie is gonna come back up to say hello. Don't make me get the wooden spoon. You're eating for two, so get to it. If it isn't the cheekiest pop of them all, you best have one hells of an apology for me, young man. Ah, I do like the mouthy ones. You know, I was gonna give you a swift kick up the arse and show you the door, but I think you and I could have a bit of fun. Gods, grant me patience. Eat up, Marina. I won't say it again. Hmm? Watch that tone, sweetie. That wriggler in your head isn't going to get its damn self out, is it? Busy bodies. I Must you stick out your neck for every dimwit in distress? I'll talk about your wriggler, and that's it. Last warning. You want to play the hero so badly? Fine. Let's make this interesting.
Make way. Sometimes the only way out is through. in here. Look. You are as thick as they come, sweetness. This is my personal playhouse, and you don't have an invite. Get out! Has that wriggler eaten your brain already? Lee, you'll go nicely with Marina. waves of fear as the presence within the door recoils. It can't let people through, not again. Images flash. A man cowering, a bag open at his feet. Gold, his cries for mercy are cut short as the hag slices in cheek cackles. The man's becoming flee, you feel it cry. A scene appears in your mind. Weapons brandished, they charge, screams of terror. You let them in? Naughty. That's a decade for each. You're mine for 30 more years. The door twitches, but stays firm. You see the hag. She walks through the door, its form shimmering, the lightest touch of hope. You feel the barest hint of life from... Don't. What path lies before me? Stop! Please! Please! Suits you. Just relax. See the world with fresh eyes. And let your dear old Aunt Ethel look after you. Stop! Please! Stench of rot is a slap to the face. Suddenly. Yes. I have you now. What are you playing at? It's that bloody mask. Don't. 
Don't look. Don't. Stop. Please. Please. Let your sight be demise. Away. Away. of life. Look. Don't. Different. Please. Hello. Pepe. Away from Waterdeep. Color me curious. Things have stayed interesting. Very well. Oh, a little respite does wonders. You'll come to my home, interfere in my business, and now have the gall to face me in the heart of my lair. I'll rip your spine up, I'll use your blood, I'll keep you alive, and then I'll bring you back. You want the girl so bad. Fine. There isn't much time to save her. Striking distance. No time to waste. 
Nothing will stand in my way. Swift as my feet can carry me. Taking position. Life goes easy these days. Can't slow down. Bloody clever clubs! My fury. Ah! It's been a long day. Better start ah! soon. You bastard! You ruined it! You ruined everything! You want thanks? A slap! is all you deserve. Ethel was going to bring my husband back. Back from the dead. And now I'll never see him again. Because of you! She would have. I had everything figured out. Just a bit longer and my child would have been born. And all this... Oh, this would have been over. Don't judge me. I have nothing. My baby would have been raised in rags. Auntie Ethel promised to give this child a good life more than I could have done. Well, I didn't bloody ask you, did I? I didn't ask for any of this. Now I have to drag his corpse back home. Coffin and all, because a goddamn grave is the closest I'll get to seeing him again. I hope you're happy. Let's have a look. path 
lies before me. Might be useful. I should speak up. Mm. Gods! Didn't hear you call the thought of putting him in a wheelbarrow and making the journey all over again. <sighs> what? You can! You feel a surge of power from the wand. The air suddenly tastes acrid. It wants to be used. Bring it back! Bring Connor back! Please! something pull at you. The creature yearns for a master. Be. And if he is, I'll find him and bring him back. Thanks. But we'll need more than luck. A bloody miracle, more like it. I'll find a wizard or something. Maybe someone in Baldur's Gate can help us. Connor always said you can find anything in that city. Remember? And thank you, I guess. Come on, love. Let's go.